Tommy Stewart, a Vol State alumni, is a producer at Super Talk 99.7 WTN, where he produces both of their highly rated morning programs. He invited our cameras into their studios so that we could get a behind the scenes look at the role of a producer for a live radio broadcast. I'm Tommy Stewart. I'm the producer of the Michael Del Giorno Show and Nashville's Morning News with Ralph Bristol on Super Talk 99.7 WTN. I basically do a little bit of everything. I really mean everything. All the things that you hear on the air that are not involving the host, not involving Ralph or Michael or whoever you're listening to, I'm the one who's responsible for it. If they need a clip to play on the air, that's all me. If you need anything that goes over the air, if they, I need to find some last minute research, if I need to talk to Michael and tell him something really quickly that he needs to use on the air, that's what I do. It's a really, really neat job. It's a lot of fun and it's always something new every day. It's not like being in a cubicle or doing the office space thing. You don't have to worry about that and the politics aren't quite so bad either. It's a really great job. It's uh, something that I think that anyone who's looking into radio that's not necessarily talented on air should also take a look at and uh, on air talent does help. I am Michael Del Giorno. I am the midday host from 9 to noon on Super Talk 99.7 WTN in Nashville. Did Paul Ryan succeed? I'll explain next on WTN. For me, a successful producer is someone that does everything but the talking and uh, shares the values and beliefs of the host and the mission of the show and um, are just quick on their feet, can do a million things at once without being distracted. Now, is that Tommy? I don't <laughs> no, it is. It is. <laughs> Taking callers is one of the hardest things about this job because you have to have a filter in your mind to know when to put someone on the air or when to just let them slide. Hello, WTN, what's your first name? We have several different systems, if you will, about putting people on. We have a check mark, which means that any this person's good to go, put them on. We have a box, which is used for, use a little caution with this person. They may be a little bit of a live wire. There are times when there's so much of a live wire that I have to use the infamous dump button. What the dump button does is it takes seven and a half seconds of audio and it makes it completely go away. That way if someone drops a dirty word on the air that you're not allowed to say, then we can make sure that's never heard and we don't get a fine from the FCC. And you heard things are not good. Not Higher education is important because where else are you gonna get this experience? Where else are you gonna be able to walk into a radio station and be able to start working immediately? Apprenticeships, they don't really happen anymore. And where do you get on as an intern without having some sort of college education? You don't. You absolutely have to start somewhere. And that's where really where places like Vol State and WMOT at MTSU really come through. They teach you those skills. It's almost like an old school apprenticeship that you just don't have anymore at the radio stations. So you have to start somewhere and the college level is really the best place to do that. The Michael Del Giorno Show will return in a moment. My advice to anyone wanting to get into radio is to get experience. Go to college, work at the radio station, and put in as much time as you possibly can because that's the stuff that looks really, really good on your resume. But keep in mind, this job ain't for everyone. You have to be at your spot every single day on time. Every single day. Say the blizzard of the century hits and there's no way for you to get out of the house. You have to get out anyway, because if you don't, there's no show. Now that's dedication. You can listen to the shows that Tommy produces every weekday morning on 99.7 FM. You can view more segments from our show by visiting our website at volstate.edu forward slash volstatepresents.